For those of you interested in getting a glimpse of the most recent advances on the biopharmaceutical front, my colleague Ireon has just the event in mind. Do take a look. This is a temperature-controlled box called Greeny Medi. It has been used in 63 percent of South Korea's COVID-19 vaccine transportation. In fact, all Pfizer vaccines imported to Korea were transported by this box as it's the only one that meets the requirements of being stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius. The Green Medi box allows low temperature refrigeration and ultra cool storage for up to 120 hours. It's not just packaging as we also guarantee the required temperature throughout the whole process of transportation. Cutting-edge pharmaceutical technologies are now all on display in one place, BioPlus Interfex Korea 2022. The BioPlus Interfex Korea 2022 is being held in person for the first time in three years due to the pandemic. 200 companies from 12 countries will take part in the three-day event to introduce the latest biomedical products and digital healthcare technologies. There is also the latest equipment used for what's called cell culture, which is the process of growing microorganisms in the laboratory and can be used when diagnosing infections and testing new drugs. Cell samples can now be collected and analyzed automatically. Major domestic pharmaceutical companies are using this equipment. It allows the automatic sampling of cell cultures to analyze the results and control the whole experiment. In the opening ceremony, the Vice Minister of Trade, Industry and Energy reiterated South Korea's position as one of the runners of the global bio industry. The number of Korean companies that took part in 2022 Bio USA, the world's biggest bio event, ranked second following the U.S., while overseas investment to Korea's companies increased 15 percent last year, compared to 2016 when it was around 300 million U.S. dollars. He also added that the government aims to abolish unnecessary regulations and encourage private-led growth to boost the country's bio-industry. This will include the government's investment of around 13 trillion Korean won, or around $9.9 .9 billion in related companies and supporting digitalization of medical manufacturing processes. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.